Diode Test To test a diode, the diode must be isolated from all other components and circuits. If not, the reading will not be useful. A diode is a one-way check valve for current. Move the selector to the Ohm's Continuity Diode setting and press the Mode button twice. The meter will use voltage to measure the current flow through the diode if it is connected in forward bias, or positive to positive and negative to negative. The reading will be in volts, and the normal reading is about 500 millivolts, or one half volt. Test the diode by touching the meter leads to the two diode leads. If the diode is in forward bias, the reading will be approximately one half volt. If the meter is connected backwards, the reading will be OL volts. If the diode is open, the readings will be OL in both directions. If the diode is shorted, the readings will be zero volts in both directions. Now listen carefully. Here's very, very, very important information about diodes. If they fail, they will make a machine or truck look haunted. Okay? A simple diode failure, a single simple diode failure can make a truck or piece of equipment that should do one thing with the flip of a switch do five things with the flip of a switch. And it's a $2 diode. My advice to you is this. If you know by reading the schematic or looking at the system and you know that your system has diodes in it, check them first. Do not wait. Check the diodes first. If you do that, there's a very good chance you will find the problem in that very first test okay. because the diode shorts, really strange things happen. So know how to measure diodes, know how to use the meter on diodes, and do it. And if you have a chance to do it first, do it first. It'll save you a lot of time and trouble when you spend two days and 16 hours and $4,000 worth of parts when you find out that all it is is a little $2 diode, okay? Okay, um, here's some diodes in this uh, Isuzu, and you can just barely see the markings on the top of them. I'm, I'm not sure why they slide them down in here and make it so doggone hard to get them out. Um, that really doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I think they're trying to protect them, perhaps, to keep them from getting broken, but it makes it very difficult to pull them out. You need to use a pair of needle nose uh, to yank them out. Uh, but diodes are one-way check valves, and the first thing you do is you move your um, meter to the diode check function and you notice that you see the little diode symbol but you also get volts because the meter measures in volts. Now these are certain, these are uh, five different types of diodes, they're all exactly the same inside, they just look different. This is Isuzu, this is industrial, this is transportation, this is out of a dragline crane, this is Komatsu, and this is Caterpillar. Okay? And Notice it's in volts, but it's on the ohm setting, so don't let that throw you off. Diodes are measured in volts, okay? So, let's start with this one, and the way that you do this is very simple. You just read the, the diode, okay, one direction, and in this case we get OL, but if we flip this over, notice we get 0.477, which is about half a volt. Diodes read normally at about half a volt in forward bias and OL in reverse bias, okay? So this diode would be working fine, okay? This diode, exactly the same thing. We simply measure here and we get about half a volt, 0.483. We flip it over, we get OL. Okay, so that um, tells me that this diode's working fine. If I go into the Komatsu, go to the Komatsu here, and use the steady pin tips to hold it on there, and the Komatsu gives me about 0.589, still about half a volt. Okay, nothing magic there. If I flip it over, I get OL.
So this diode's working fine. Here's the cat. Cat's got two diodes in here. They go across this way. So using the steady pin tips with the dimple on the end, I go down into one of them. Sits right on top. And I go into the second one. And notice that I get about half a volt. Okay? So the cat diode gives me about half a volt. Flip this over. And sure enough, oh well. So that diode is working fine. Now this one's a little different because this Isuzu diode actually has three diodes in it. Okay? It's usually called a bridge or some kind of just a terminal strip or assembly. A lot of different names for it. But in effect, we have a diode here, a diode here, and a diode here. Okay? So these terminals here are one diode, these terminals here are another diode, and these terminals here are uh, a third diode. But just to prove a point, Okay, I should be able to put my probes here and here. A little tough sometimes, don't be afraid, just hang in there. And sure enough, the Isuzu diode, 0.558. Okay, so all three, uh, excuse me, all five of these diodes work in exactly the same way. Okay. When you test, it's important that they have to be out of the system. Okay, once again, like the ohm meter, they have to be isolated. And when they're out, you can test them. Okay? If we read OL in both directions, it would be open and it would be broken. And if we read zero in both directions, it would be shorted and it would be broken. So the only correct answer is half a volt in one direction and OL in the other.